the truth of what happened on uh, October 7th is beginning to emerge, and you are right to identify that it is emerging not from the Western press, but from the Israeli media and from the Israeli public, uh, who are switched on uh, and uh, internet savvy public. And the latest revelation is the actual footage from the Apache helicopters that were machine gunning uh, people and vehicles at the uh, festival, the music festival, uh, where people were dancing uh, almost within earshot of uh, the anguish behind the wire in the refugee camp, the concentration camp called Gaza. A very significant number of people were killed on October the 7th. Uh, most of them were Israeli military and security forces. Don't take my word for that. Take the word of the Israeli media for that, who have now published the names and rank and serial number of the two-thirds of the casualties who were Israeli military and security forces. And of the remaining one-third, it is becoming more and more clear, as hostages told us, from the beginning, that many of those, maybe most of those, were actually killed in pursuit of this Hannibal doctrine yeah. uh, by Israeli armed uh, elements uh, themselves. Now, there were no rapes. That's just a brazen lie. No evidence has been adduced in four weeks of propaganda war uh, to uh, in any way justify that slander. There were not 40 beheaded babies. There's only one baby dead on October 7th. One. Who killed that baby is not yet at all clear. These lies have fueled a genocide. Yes. And those who keep repeating them, even when they're being debunked by Israeli people themselves, have a lot to answer for 